want to tell you the story of one of my absolute favorite Bibles. But also kind of tell another Bible story before we get into that. I like to have Bibles for special parts of life. Every time I go and serve a new church, I end up buying a new Bible. I want to just kind of mark that time. And so I have my Foundry Bible right now. I'll probably replace it when we move into a new building. Um, I had my St. Paul's Bible and I loved it. In fact, my Foundry Bible is just a nicer version of my St. Paul's Bible. But I, today I want to show you all my seminary Bible. And there's there's actually two seminary Bibles, but this is the big one. And it's this. It's the Oxford New Revised Standard Note Takers Bible. Nothing big, nothing special. In fact, when this thing was in print, you could get it for like 20 bucks. I regret not finding one and not buying more of them when they were in print because now when you find them, they're just crazy expensive, way too much money uh, that I want to pay for a Bible. But it's awesome. And the thing about it that's special to me is the New Revised Standard, which I like the New Revised Standard. But what I like about it is what I remember this Bible for. I remember the times I taught, the things that happened, what this Bible uh, meant to me. And, and you see, I mean, I'm a, I use my Bibles. I, 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 they're full of stuff. But the, probably the more special thing to me on the side of this is, is, is this phrase right here. And it says, eat this book. And this is why this is important to me. Uh, Eugene Peterson, um, in one of his many books that he wrote, he wrote one called Eat This Book. It was about scripture and the power of scripture and the role of scripture in the life of the church. And it was really formational to me. Um, and I actually had a friend of mine take this Bible like, off my desk one day and write that phrase on there. And it reminded me all through seminary, this thing was in my backpack, big, sturdy, hardback. It's... It, 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 it's huge. You could like, do some damage with this. But was that reminder to eat this book? And that meant a lot to me. And also is the fact that I flip through this and I see my formation journey. I see where I was back then. And that's why I like to do this. That's why I will change Bibles during specific seasons of time is because I want to mark the transition and the change that happened in my life during that season. So this is one of my favorite Bibles. And I'll show you some more of my favorite Bibles in the future. 